Hello. The method of folding, in which the tourniquet is placed on the equipment in an open form or in a tourniquet pouch, in an individual pharmacy pouch, or in a combat medics backpack, is called the transport position. From this position, the tourniquet is unfolded into a ring and then applied either to the upper limb or unfolded completely to be applied to the lower limb. There are two classic folding methods. Conventional and snail. That is, separately in a ring for the upper limb. Separately in an unfolded form for the lower limb. And there are many more authors' interpretations, which are not really relatable. I will focus only on the usual method, because it's the same situation as with the location of the tourniquet. Ideally, it should be standard for the entire unit. To minimize the time spent looking for it in the case of mutual aid. Similarly, it should be the same for the folding method. Why? Because the level of tactical medicine training in the army still has a lot to improve. Before that, if for example at night, in the absence of visual control, during mutual aid, a fellow soldier from any other unit or from yours gets hold of your turnstile folded in a snail's face, you have been training and preparing separately, and he does not even know anything about that snail. In this case, unfortunately both soldiers will have a problem. It is known that in an extreme situation, a person descends from the level of their expectations to the level of their skills. Therefore, if a fellow soldier is holding a turnstile that is folded in a way that is incomprehensible to him, then there is no starting point from which he is used to starting during training. At best, it will take time to realize how it is folded. At worst, the person will fall into a short-term stupor. And this is a loss of precious time in stopping the bleeding and an increase in the time spent in the area under enemy's fire. Therefore, I am going to explain the general method of packing, but with an emphasis on self-help. Generally when we use the well-known method of folding a tourniquet into a ring by shaking it when only one upper limb is functional the process becomes quite difficult. You may not have enough room to maneuver. The tourniquet may fly out of your hand while shaking it. You may not have enough strength and the turnstile will open only slightly. Therefore, we fold it to be able to open the tourniquet with our teeth. Just understand the algorithm and you can easily fold it yourself in a training cycle. Thread the turnstile belt into the buckle. It doesn't matter how far. Bring the top of the first loop out approximately at the level of the top of the gate, which is embedded in the C-shaped lock. Position your palm so that your little finger is at the base of the metal buckle. Form the next loop so that it is lower than the previous one. The protruding part of the first loop is the key element of our scheme. Move your fingers to the top of the second loop and slightly pull the tip of the turnstile strap down. We form the third loop so that the tip of the turnstile is either at the level of the previous one or slightly lower, it's not critical. The main thing is not to be higher. In this case, there is a possibility that the tip will stick to the first loop and then the turnstile ring can be opened only by shaking. Seal the folded structure. Only without fanaticism, the buckle should be straightened, not bent into the inside of the turnstile. As a result, we have the following transport position, which allows us to open the turnstile ring with one hand either by shaking it or, depending on the situation, by clamping it with our teeth.